First Man to Walk on the Moon, Apollo 11, narrated by Sally Sharp and Lauren Grossberg, written by Regina Drew. On May 25, 1961, President John F. Kennedy made a commitment that the United States would land a man on the moon and return him safely to Earth by the year 1970. This marked the beginning of the Apollo program headed by NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. The crew of Apollo 11 achieved President Kennedy's goal on July 21, 1969. But he was not alive to see his dream come true. He was assassinated while visiting Dallas, Texas on November 22, 1963. The astronauts on board the Apollo 11 were Neil Armstrong, Edwin Buzz Aldrin Jr., and Michael Collins. It took them four days to reach the moon's orbit, a journey of 250,000 miles. Michael Collins stayed on board the Columbia, the main part of the spacecraft known as the command ship, and orbited the moon. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin exited the Columbia and went into the lunar lander, named the Eagle, and descended to the surface of the moon. They landed the Eagle at a flat location on the moon called Tranquility. Neil Armstrong was the first to leave the lunar lander by means of a ladder. Upon taking his first step onto the moon's surface, he said these now famous words, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. One of his first actions was to plant the American flag on the surface of the moon. Next, he and Buzz Aldrin went to work setting up scientific instruments so that scientists could learn more about the moon. One of these instruments was the seismometer, which measures evidence of moonquakes. They also took photographs and collected 56 pounds of rock and soil samples. The two astronauts spent a total of 2 hours and 31 minutes outside of the lunar landing module. Two days after their arrival, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin blasted off from the moon and rejoined the Columbia command ship. Upon its return to Earth, parachutes slowed the command module down as it landed safely in the Pacific Ocean. It was a successful and historic eight-day mission. Here are some questions to ask after listening to the article. Do you think we would have sent a man to the moon if President Kennedy had not made a commitment to the space program before his death? How do you think President Kennedy would have felt about the success of Apollo 11 if he had not been assassinated? How long did it take for Apollo 11 to reach the moon's orbit? What do you think Neil Armstrong meant by the phrase, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind? If you like our stories, give us a five-star review on iTunes. For more stories, go to smarttutor.com.